Hey there viewers. So today I got a Bug Assault 2.0 Lawn and Garden Edition. Picked this guy up off of eBay a couple weeks ago for somewhere around 30, 33, 35 bucks after tax. Uh, I'll go ahead and put the link down in the description. This is actually one of their refurbished models that they're selling off of the eBay and it came to me in I would say new condition. There's not a scratch on this thing. Came with a couple of cool stickers and um, you know in the box, in the factory box with the instruction manual and everything. Now this is a pretty cool toy. It uh I think this is this is awesome. You know, this this takes me back to the 90s when super soakers were a big thing. <laughs> and uh, you know, you had just about every kid on the block, you know, pumping pumping up their uh, their, their squirt gun and blasting away at each other. So uh, with this guy, you're obviously able to shoot flies. Uh, I've been able to shoot horse flies, standard flies, and I've even gone after some uh, some bigger insects like uh, um, yellow jackets. But we'll, we'll talk about that later. Uh, now, this is a simple all plastic construction. Uh, it's, this is apparently their second version. Um, the lawn and garden edition, to my understanding, is basically uh, it allows you to shoot a it, it has an it has an extra large port to actually allow the salt to drop down into the chamber. So uh, you have better luck with using more heavier grain salts. So I think you could, you don't just have to use the standard you know the standard size salt. You can actually go with a heavier, uh, bigger salt grain. And that's that's really the only advantage, to my understanding, with this 2.0 Lawn and Garden Edition. Um, real simple construction. Um, like I said, it reminds me of a, a squirt gun from back in the 90s. You know that you just simply pump up. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you guys just some of the basic features on it, and see what you guys think. Now, to fill your salt gun, all you have to do here is pop open this hatch, grab you some regular salt, and just dump it on in. Fill that guy up to where it's level. Click it until it snaps into place. Alright guys, so to chamber around on the salt gun 2.0, all you have to do is pump back on the action, slide it forward all the way to the end, and then you'll be able to disengage your safety to fire. Just simply push that little lever, that little orange extension up and forward towards the trigger. And now we're gonna go ahead and do a two foot test and a three foot test to see what type of spread we can get. So here we go. At two feet. All right. So, as you can see, right up there towards the top of the screen, we got a nice, I'd say that's probably close to a tennis uh, tennis ball. <laughs> it's a nice, nice size uh, grouping, fairly concentrated, but definitely uh, did, did a little bit of damage to the tin foil there. I would imagine that would destroy a fly easy, two feet. Now let's go ahead and zoom out and let's see how uh, Let's see how we do closer around the three. We'll go ahead and zoom in here for you guys so you can get a good look and see what happens. So, the spread was a little bit greater there. Still did some, uh, some decent Damage and created some dimples on that on that aluminum foil, but as you can see, we zoom out here, guys. Definitely uh, obvious to see uh, just just the difference. You get a better spread at three feet, but I'd say anything outside of 36 inches, three feet, it, it's really uh, it's hard to say whether or not you're going to drop down a, a decent sized fly. But uh, I could be wrong. This is just my experience with it. I've been shooting flies at two feet and three feet and it's been working out great. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we'll catch you guys next time.